Hi everyone, I am at the Cancer Center. I'm here to meet with my medical oncologist for my three month checkup. I felt a little odd pulling into the parking lot. You know, it brings back memories of just a few months ago when I was here every day for six weeks for radiation. So I'm going to head in now and I'll give you an update after my appointment. Well, I'm on the elevator. I don't like elevators. Heading up to the oncology unit. I wanted to show you guys this bracelet. I forgot to cut off my medical bracelet when I was just uh, at the cancer center. It says, sisters are like stars. They make things brighter. I bought two of these bracelets. I bought this originally for when my sister who lives in Illinois is having chemo dealing with her breast cancer so every time she goes to chemo I put my bracelet on and she puts her bracelet on so that I'm there in spirit and she said to me yesterday that she's going to wear her sister bracelet today because of my doctor's appointment so I have mine on as well love you sis so here is my latest update on what my medical oncologist recommended he wants me to restart taking the tamoxifen, which obviously worries me because of the adverse reaction I had to taking it before. So his recommendation is, I was on 20 milligrams, he's going to have me take 10 milligrams once a day for the next three weeks, then I'm going to re-meet with him and we'll see how I'm doing. If in the meantime I'm having terrible reactions to call him right away. So if after three weeks I'm doing okay, then he will add a second 10 milligram pill to uh, my day. So I'll have my medication split up like 10 milligrams in the morning, 10 milligrams at night versus 20 milligrams all at once. And I hope and I pray that will help me. I'm only able to take one medication for the type of cancer that I have. Uh, it's a hormonal based cancer and the tamoxifen works um, so that the cancer hopefully doesn't grow back. If you have not gone through menopause Tamoxifen is the only drug available, so I have not gone through menopause yet. Once you go through menopause, then I believe there's um, at least three drugs that you can go on. If for some reason I end up having adverse reaction again to the tamoxifen, there are drastic measures that you can take. Um, one would be removing my ovaries or giving me injections to stop my ovaries from functioning. So that's a bridge we'll cross if it needs to be. I'm not going to worry about something about, like that right now. For now, I'm going to pray that the 10 milligrams um, doesn't cause any bad reaction and it, when I have to be increased, I'm going to pray again that everything is going to be okay. He also is referring me to an orthopedic doctor. I've been going to physical therapy now for um, a couple of months and I'm still having a lot of issues with my arm. So she wrote to my oncologist and he wants me to be assessed by an ortho doctor. I'm having a lot of rib pain. He did offer me pain medication but I opted out of that. I'm very drug sensitive and I you know, my thoughts are I don't want to be taking two drugs at the same time because if I have a reaction, I'm not going to know if it's the pain medicine or if it's a tamoxifen. If the pain gets to the point where it's so unbearable, right now it hurts, but I can function with it. If it gets unbearable, then I'll, you know, decide whether I should take pain medication. So that is my latest update. Um, you know, hip cancer is a long journey. I have to be on this medication for five years. Um, you know, I'm going to have to have, obviously, mammograms and 
breast MRIs, et cetera, um, to monitor, uh, make sure that nothing is growing, et cetera. But, um, you know, I'm a little overwhelmed. I really don't want to take this medicine, but I also don't want the cancer to come back. So I'm going to have to do a lot of praying and, um, you know, try to look at everything on the bright side, that this medicine is going to help me. And I know I have a lot of people praying for me, lighting candles for me, and I'm truly grateful to each and every one of you. So I'll give you an update in a few weeks on uh, my breast cancer journey. And I want to thank everybody for your support. Love, light, and blessings.